Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, class, let's have last night's homework. Or let's hear the excuses you have for not doing it. Johnny? Here you go, Mr. Teacher Man. All my homework finished and in alphabetical order. Don't eat that, don't go. I love homework! And you'll also love family night. We're gonna hit the zoo before it closes. Then, sorry, I have a lot of homework. In fact, I'm gonna be busy all night. Oh, okay. We'll just watch TV. <laughs> Hey, homework buddy, I have to make a scale volcano model. Go nuts! Johnny, check it. A pulley system that dumps water in more concentrated doses on Mrs. Magikowski's cats. Hey, Mrs. Magikowski lives alone and is old and brings us cookies sometimes. Yeah, but her cats are young and one scratched me yesterday. Fire away. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! How does it work? more homework that's due. I uh, am supposed to make some cookies, eat them, then write down how I feel about them. You don't really need to make cookies, do you? No. But yum! <laughs> hey, how did he do that so fast? Just stay tight, little brother, as we perform some tests on you. There seems to be no extra radiation in his system. His vitals are normal, but his brainwave activity is very low. Which is normal for little brothers. And where'd you get the cookies? Uh, found them. He's lying. Johnny, we gave you the homework, buddy, to test for homework only. Not for your own personal gain. And I would never dream of using him for my own personal gain. Never. Never. <laughs> Whoa! What was today's homework assignment? Uh, get some giant plasma TVs and play video games to test how long you can play until your eyes fall out. And see if it's possible to cook sausages in a hot tub while your private petting zoo is nearby. Sounds good to me! <laughs> More homework cookies, my fuzzy buddy? Why, of course. <laughs> so, where did the homework buddy get all this stuff? I don't know. He must make them. He makes a plasma TV? Well, where else does he get this stuff? He doesn't have any money and... Uh-oh. Homework buddy. I need more cookies to analyze for social studies. I thought those cookies tasted familiar. He's not a homework buddy. He's a homework burglar! This is Hank Anchorman reporting that some kind of rogue alien robot is terrorizing the city! Stealing high-end electronics, deli sausages, old lady cookies, and zoo animals! Oh, we're dead. Okay, Johnny, time for your... Too much, right? You're insane! And we've got to get rid of this stuff before the police find out a worse mom and dad! If anyone has seen this robot or knows anyone who might use it for evil, please contact the police! Please tell us that that is not the robot we just saw in the news. You're not telling us! Dad, the explanation is very simple. This is all Johnny's fault. My fault? I didn't build the kleptobot. You did. It's all your fault! Yeah, but don't count yourself out, Dad. You're supposed to raise us to be responsible. And you didn't do a great job now, did you? He's right. It's not my fault. It's, it's your fault. My fault? If you weren't traveling all the time, I might have more time to spend with the kids and teach them not to build a shoplifting robot. Well, I've been trying to be a family for the past two nights, but everyone is too busy to have a family night. OK, it's all our fault. But we are a family. And we're going to fix this as a family, right? Right. Now. Can we destroy the robot, thus destroying any link we have to it? If the lithium oxide batteries are taken apart, they can contaminate the air, killing us all. Okay, so destroying the crazy stealing robot is out. But it's not considered stealing if everything is returned, right? Right! We'll get rid of all the evidence by returning the evidence. I'll gather up some black clothing for everyone. I'll collect all the things that need to be returned. And I'll drive the girl's hydraulic flatbed truck around front. <laughs> we don't want to know. <laughs> Just move! Turn the TVs! Wow. You won't run away, will you, Pooh? 
Yes, like right now. Now, test the water poopsie to see if it's too cold for Jody. Okay, I see where this story's going. Susan, Barry! Shh! The neighbors see a talking dog in our backyard, they'll freak! Right. Johnny's been dogged at! He could be in danger! We need to do something! Okay, here's the plan. Go to the lab and take whatever you want, and then go rescue Johnny, and we'll spend a dreamy afternoon cuddling with Gil. Got it! Let's see how Gil and Gil's dog likes us now. We're such geniuses. <laughs> Lions? You lions wait right here. Gil has a surprise for you. Maybe it's a friendship bracelet. Or his Barsky letter jacket. <laughs> Is that a blow dart tube? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, animal control. My, you look so beautiful, Poopsie. Okay, it's official. I hate being a dog. And open window time! How oh, dare Poopsie behave so badly! I saved you from the streets! Now to make sure sweet, cute Poopsie never runs away again, I put this special surprise collar on you. Yeah, yeah, just put me down, Psycho, so I can escape this doggy nightmare. <laughs> Escape days are over and you'll be mine forever! <laughs> you don't look happy. I gotta get out of here! Think, Kest, your dog? What are dogs great at? They run fast, they lift weights. Wait! Begging! <laughs> no, no, Poopsie. No begging for your surprise collar off! <laughs> Little one, but no running away. Now I gotta save the girls, too. Well, this day couldn't have turned out any worse. Now sit tight, crazy wild lions and little ugly dog, while I get ready to take care of you for good. <laughs> Check that. It got worse. I didn't like the way you said that. We gotta get out of here. Help! I mean... <laughs> Cheerio and all that blimey. I want to adopt some lions for a smashing commercial exploitation and an ugly golden dog as a pet for my niece. <laughs> pip, pip, and beans on toast and do the jig and all. <laughs> uh, you have a tail. I do? Oh, hey, I do. <laughs> That's weird and, uh... Oh, what's that over there? Huh? Hey! <laughs> it's okay! I just want to go on record by saying it is not easy being this family's pet. <laughs> but it does have its rewards. Nobody busts out of my animal shelter. We're trapped! Don't worry, I came prepared. Freedom! <laughs> Nobody messes with animal control. He's getting in his van. What are we gonna do now? Don't worry, I came prepared for that too! You blew, blew up, up the van? van? What? Of course not. I'm not an animal. Dawn, now I'll never get them to the sunshiny wild animal refuge. They would have been taken care of for good. Johnny's turn. I love you. And I learned a lot today about being a dog. Like I was wrong for holding saving your life over your head. And now that you saved my life, we're even. Right, Dookie? Dookie? <laughs> Okay, I see where this story's going. So, 
will bring the family to Pork Belly's Wild Animal Park. It's like having a rainforest in your backyard. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Huh? Stop, Johnny! Stop, Johnny! Stop, Johnny! Ah! Are they nuts? Susan and Mary really don't want you to take Lolo. Just get the monkey! You set the drones to stun, right? I thought so. And where's Johnny with our monkey? So come on down to Simeon's used cars where prices are so low, you'll go bananas. Well, that was convenient. Awesome. We're only 149 bucks away from a shiny new game droid QS. And these flyers will totally drum up more business. A monkey? I want to hire you for my son's birthday party. How much? $149. Deal. I'll see you at 3 p.m. Woohoo! All we gotta do is get Lolo to that party and... Stay away from Lolo, Johnny! And sorry about the drones! They were supposed to be set on stun! Okay, time for plan B. Well, this should protect Lolo from totally annoying little brothers. So, when did you build the monkey container? I didn't. I thought you did! Run! We need Lolo for important research. I need her more for important money. She's going to learn how to vacuum the lab today. <laughs> no, she's entertaining brats at a party today. <laughs> she's not doing either because she's running away. Oh, no. Who's going to make me money? We're back. She left because all we've been doing is thinking about ourselves, and not Lolo. Johnny's right. Which is weird. And we have to find Lolo and make things right! To the hovercraft! Catching neglected runaway monkeys is fun. The bus Lolo jumped on stops at the Pork Belly Wild Animal Park. We'll never find Lolo in those thick woods. We gotta get down there and take a closer look. Good idea. You gave them parachutes, right? I think so. Lolo, please don't run away. We came to apologize. Sorry about the no parachute thing, guys. I'm spacing out today. But we're mostly sorry about neglecting you, Lolo. We really want you to come home, and we promise we won't make you watch any more bad sitcoms. Or perform at birthday parties for money. But if you want to perform at birthday parties, that's cool too, and we should go now. I think she wants to live here. Is that what you want? I'm gonna miss her, but she sure looks happy. So happy. <laughs> Lolo's coming home. And remember, Lolo, from now on, you get to do anything you want. Except flying a hovercraft. Let's take flying hovercrafts off the list. <sighs> hey, how did you get down there so fast? I'm right behind you. Huh? It's our future evil selves. Oh, oh wait, maybe they're clones. Stop right there, evil clones, and leave that treehouse alone. <laughs> We gotta stop them before they ruin our lives! Quick, to the Johnny Pole! <laughs> 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 
We've got to make some tweaks to the Johnny pole. <laughs> Have you lost your minds? Yes. I finally stole enough lunch money to buy this violent video game that I'm sure will influence me. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you, Johnny Test! <laughs> I think we or whoever they are came through this way. Oh, I got a bad feeling, Johnny. There's that kid and his dog! He didn't wait for the walk sign! He stole my video game! And stole candy from my babies! And how cool is it that the Pitchfork and Torch store were having a sale today? It wasn't us! It was actually clone lookalikes, or it was us from the future, but then a time virus and something went wrong and ah, oh, forget it! Run, dog! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, this is not gonna look good. Dad, I can explain. It's clones. Clones? Until you admit you did those awful things, you are not getting out of my new homemade jail, which I've improved with steel. We're trapped! And out there, Mystery Johnny and Dookie are destroying the town, and worse, destroying our good names! Relax, remember, it was Dad who improved the jail. Now, let's stop those clones! But we'll need disguises so nobody thinks we are us. To the Johnny Pole! No, 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 that's the pretty poles, remember? Right. <laughs> this might work. <laughs> now nobody will chase us because we look nothing like us. Who we have to find. Oh! A blood-sucking vampire! And a clown! I hate clowns worse than vampires! Get them! We've got to spend more time on the whole Johnny Pole thing. Run! <laughs> Everyone loves matadors and cheerleaders, I think. Now, if I was an imposter of myself, where would I be right now? Let's check over there. Clones, or our future evil selves, we mean you no harm. But I am in a lot of trouble because of you dark Santa. <laughs> cyborgs. I think they might be cyborgs of ourselves. Run! <laughs> yep, I'm definitely thinking cyborgs. But who would make such a thing? Johnny, this is gonna sound weird, but you haven't seen two cyborg versions of you and Dookie, have you? You made them? Do you realize what you've done to me? And... Answer the question! There's no time! Um... They're right there. <laughs> hey, guys, it's good to see you, and... Hang on if you want to live! <laughs> Sorry, Johnny, but we needed a new suburban weapon. Something unsuspecting, but capable of mass destruction. And so we thought of you. Oh, yeah, I can see that. But if the cyborgs are yours, why are they destroying Pork Belly and not some bad enemy dudes? Because they became the bad dudes. Their artificial intelligence program became corrupted. And then they became corrupt. Then they broke out of jail and are on the loose. Look! It's pandemonium in Pork Belly! As an evil flaming headed kid and his dog of terror are destroying our great city! Okay, it's not that great of a city, but somebody please help! It's the only city we've got! <laughs> There's nothing we can do to stop them. The world as we know it will soon be ending. What? There's nothing we can do? Oh, okay, there might be something. I, I just can't think of anything. Well, I can. Time to fight fire with fire. Or in this case, fight Johnny with Johnny. Load us up with everything you got and we'll take care of the rest. Right, quick, to the battle poles! <laughs> 